Hey everyone, want to take a minute to kind of address some questions I've been getting about investing in real estate, how to get started, what do I need to do, what books should I be reading, uh, lectures I should be listening to, podcasts, etc., etc. And I wanted to kind of take a minute and address that. Uh, the big thing I want to get across in this clip is that one of the big qualities I have, and it gets me into trouble sometimes, but I'm a doer. I like to do things. I'm not necessarily let's wait and make sure we have everything all planned out before we execute. Let's execute and then figure it out along the way. And I, I have a, a poster in my house here. It's, it shows a person jumping off a cliff and says entrepreneurship or a business owner is the person who jumps off the cliff and then builds a parachute on the way down before they hit the ground. And it's incredible what you are able to accomplish when you back yourself into a corner and you have to, you've cut off your retreat and say, we're going this way, and you train your mind to say, uh-uh, backwards isn't an option. We need to go forward. How can we create solutions so we can go forward? And that's incredibly powerful to train your mind to do that. And purchasing a property will engage your mind to do that. So when I say I'm a doer, that is one of the best things I think you can be. It has also gotten me into situations where I'm not as prepared as I should be to do some things, but there is no replacement on education for actually doing the thing you want to learn. And that's why I'm very thankful that I am a doer. So for those of you looking to get it started investing in real estate, there are some things you should start doing right now. And I don't want to take away from preparation whatsoever. Preparation is very, very key. And I think if we took all the people interested in real estate, we would have like a funnel shape, right? We'd have a funnel and in the top would go everybody that wants to invest in real estate and they'd be in the top. And at the top of the funnel would be everybody educating, reading books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Millionaire Real Estate Investor, et cetera, et cetera, listening to podcasts. They would be interviewing people that have invested in real estate, reaching out to people like me, like some of you are doing, et cetera, et cetera, right? And then that funnel gets down and the spout that comes out and drips out or pours out is the people who actually buy their first deal. And that's where you want to get to. You want to get from the top of this funnel through all the people that are just educating themselves on the like the bigger pockets forums, just card carrying members, not actively investing down into the funnel where you execute on your first deal. That is where you're going to learn the majority of what you need. There is no replacement for actually doing. There really isn't. I talk about needing a mentor, needing to self-educate, all very, very important things. However, if you never pull the trigger and do the actual investing, you won't learn, guys. So you need to go out and buy your first house. Great analogy. I was asked to go on a bow hunting trip for elk in Wyoming this fall. I have never bow hunted seriously. And I've never hunted for elk. Two things very important in this hunt I've never done. So what am I doing this summer? I am going to the range three times a week, practicing shooting my bow. I am. I bought a whole bunch of books. I've read the books. I've bought a bunch of calls, elk calls, and I use them on the way to and from work in my car, practicing, trying to sound like an elk. I am preparing to go on that hunt because I want to perform, right? And I am going to, I'm at the top of the funnel for elk hunting. I'm doing all the education, but I'm going to make it. I've already booked the hunt and I'm going to learn way more on that hunt. I can promise you about bow hunting and elk hunting than I have in the three books I've read, the podcasts I've listened to, the class I took online, um, the thousands of arrows I'm shooting at the range, all the training for the altitude. I'm going to learn way more on that hunt. And that's just like real estate investing. You need to actually do the investing. I have so many friends, guys, that are far smarter than I am. Just truthfully, I, I'm, I'm above average intelligence. I'm not going to blow you away. But I have so many friends that come to me with great ideas about investing. Like, hey, we should invest in this because of this, 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 and this. And I'm just going, yeah, yeah, that, that sounds really good to me. We, sh we should do that. And we'll separate or you, you should do that, I'll say. And I, I'll talk to them like a month later. I'm like, hey, did you did you do that thing you were talking about? Well, no, I was thinking about it some more. And then 
And right there, I just, I just already stopped listening because I already know that they have analysis paralysis and they'll never be a doer. And that's why I say it's good to be a doer. They're smarter than me and they've overthought the situation so much that they'll never do anything. And, and that's so many people, guys, in this world. If you'll be a doer and just go out and do something, you'll be so much further ahead in anything in life, not just real estate investing, but it's absolutely true in real estate investing. I'll take the guy that's bought two single family homes in the last five years, then the guy that goes to six conferences, reads three books a month and listens to podcasts daily. I'll take the guy that's been in the trenches doing it. I absolutely will. So get out there. I know it's intimidating. It's one of the bigger purchases you're, you probably made up until this point, but if you don't ever get over that first hump of doing it, you're never gonna go on to greater and better things. So you gotta just do. You can only prepare so long. And uh, something I heard on a podcast the other day was just so good, they put it so succinctly that I, I'll repeat it. It said, I didn't get wealthy be, uh, on my first house or my first investment. I got wealthy because of my first house. And what they meant is they learned so much about how to create wealth through real estate on their first investment, it caused them on their subsequent investments to become wealthy. And I think that's so true. That is absolutely the case with me. My first investment didn't go super well, and I talk about it in a clip, but I learned so much, guys, from that first house. Just figuring things out, general things, going through the closing process, leases, renters, utilities. There's so much stuff until you're actually responsible for them. You can talk about them all you want, but you need to actually do them. So for those of you asking me, how do I get started? You can only prepare so long. Eventually you just need to go out and make a purchase and do your best to educate yourself so that purchase isn't a complete failure. But as long as it's not just an absolute terrible buy, Real estate is very forgiving. Like if you don't, if you buy something that doesn't quite cash flow and you end up sticking like fifty, hundred dollars a month to help pay the mortgages or the utilities or whatever, eventually as time goes on in three to four years, the market will have risen enough where your rents come up that the the property will cash flow or at least break even and you'll still come out okay. It's one of the great things about real estate is time forgives it. So. I'm not so worried about your first investment. Is it the perfect deal? I'm more worried about that you go out and do a deal. Be a doer. Don't be the person that just looks at things with you know the microscope like, oh, I don't know if this investment's good or not. Just go out and figure it out. And winners find ways, and I believe that. And you need to put yourself in these situations where you have one choice, and that's to figure it out. Jump off the cliff, build the parachute on the way down. Don't have it ready when you jump off the cliff. That is so important. If it's to be, it's up to me. I love that. And that's what it is when you buy a house. You've now made the choice that you need to be the solution. You train your mind to not, can I? It's how can I? And when you ask the right questions to your mind, it is an incredibly powerful thing that it does. It turns on your mind. I, I've sat with friends and done this. They well, can I do this? Can I do this? No, 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 no. How can you do this? And before long, we have five solutions to that question because you've told your mind, we don't have a choice. We're doing this. How can I, or what's the best way to do this? Not can I, how can I? I think that's super important. Go out guys and be a doer. Don't sit in on the forums of bigger pockets or watching my YouTube clips, to be completely honest, just go out and invest in a property. And you'll learn so much more than I can ever teach you or anybody else can. Get one under your belt, go through the process, figure out what didn't work, and then go read up and educate yourself on that, then go do another one. That's how I would get started, and that's how I did get started. I wasn't always perfect, but I'd go do a bunch of stuff, honestly, screw a bunch of stuff up, go ask my mentor and read a bunch of books and the stuff I knew I screwed up, and then I go do a bunch more stuff. And I kind of figured out the stuff I didn't know the first time, but then I, there's a bunch of other stuff I didn't know. So I go read up on those and ask questions on those. And I did that repeatedly. And you just keep failing forward. And if you're smart enough or dumb enough, however you wanna look at it, to keep getting up and moving forward, you can't help but be a success in anything. 
But real estate is especially true. So go out and just do, guys. And I think that is so important just in life to have that attitude. And yes, it has gotten me in trouble. I've done things too quickly. But I won't trade it for anything in the world. I, I don't want to be on the sidelines putting you know, my toe in the water, wondering if I should jump in or not. I'm just going to yell cannonball and jump in. And that's what I've always done in my life. There's a quote on my wall. I'm going to grab it real quick for you. It's my favorite quote in the world. It's by Teddy Roosevelt. It's called The Critic. And I'm not going to read it, but you can, you can go research it. It's famous. It talks about the man in the arena. It's amazing. And I never want to be the critic in anything. I want to be the person in the arena that the critic is talking about. Because if you, you're critiquing, you're not doing. And it's, it's just like talking about somebody behind their back. You want to be the person that people are talking about. And yeah, they're going to talk bad about it. I get people that talk bad about my YouTube channel. I don't care. I, I truly don't. They're sitting around talking about me. I'm doing something. There's a big difference there. And be a doer. Don't be the one sitting around talking. I'm sure I'm screwing this up 10 times over, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to go ask some of my friends that are really technologically savvy with, you know, visual effects and audio and marketing online, etc., etc. I won't figure it out. But if you're just sitting around talking about people doing great things, you're not going to figure it out. It's just a fact of life. And that's the same thing with real estate. Go out there and be a doer. You will figure it out. And that's not too scary once you get out there. Once you jump in the pool, you're going to be fine. You can learn to swim. Somebody will throw you a life raft. And that's what I'm here for. It's what all these resources online are for. It's all free, guys. There's no excuse anymore. The internet has revolutionized, revolutionized real estate investing. It shrunk the United States where you can invest across the, the country and still keep very close tabs on your property because of things like Skype and Google Earth and flights that are pretty cheap to get across the country now, whereas 50 years ago, there weren't those options. So the game has changed and it's changed vastly in your favor. Get out there and do something. If your market's not conducive to your investing, find one that is in a market not near you. You know, you can do this. There's, you got to eliminate the mistakes and make the decision to just go out and do. And if you take anything away from this, just do. Nike has the saying, just do it. Sounds great. Go out and just do it, guys. You'll learn so much. You'll be well on your way to learning how to do the things that, that I do. If everybody wants to know, how do you do what you do? How do you do, do what you do? You just need to learn it. Just go out there and learn. And I know I was rambling on there, but that's a hot topic for me. I see way too many good people just overanalyze things and always educating and never actually taking the initiative to start their own business. And I hope that's not you. Just go out there and buy a property. You're going to learn so much. And I'd love to see you out there. And I'd love to hear about your first property deal, guys. Thanks. Have a great day.